to play But in the game I lost you What a price to pay I'm crying If you're new to my channel, my name is Carl at Incarcerating on Instagram. Today is going to be a bit different. Why? Because I will be doing a style vlog slash lookbook of my favorite brand, The Roll. Thanks for watching my previous video as well. If you haven't watched yet, I link down the video below para panood nyo. It's never too late. So the role is established in 2006. Initially, Ashley Olsen wanted to create a t-shirt clothing line. And eventually, um, it evolved into a luxury RTW collection. And now, they do have 200 stores in 80 countries. So in 2012, they won the Women's Wear Designer of the Year. In 2014, they won a different award which is the Accessories Designer of the Year and previously 2019 nanalo na naman sila ng Accessories Designer of the Year so bongga bongga lang ang um, twins and you can really tell that they are really passionate of what they do with me they also have a playlist on Spotify so if you want to have the row experience you have to download the playlist of the row and most of the music that they have is very 70s May pagka jazz na parang may pagka blues. So when I think about the row, it's all about casual, slouchy elegance. Ever since they started, it has that Japanese wabi sabi type of feel and aesthetic. So we saw in an interview that the twins are heavily inspired by Yoji Yamamoto and Reiko Wakubo. Another is Tato Lux. So, so we all know that the row is a luxury brand, mainly because they create clothing that are considered pieces they just don't go with trends but they create timeless pieces that will last all year round they also focus on exceptional tailoring they also create pieces that have considered fabric so the fabrics that they mainly use are wool virgin wool satin silk sometimes they do wool and cashmere so it's all high grade very premium and I think the mantra is being easy and being easy is the luxury that they are trying to promote. There's no blinks, there's no frills, they don't do a lot of logos as well. So how to capture the essence of the role? So rule number one, pick this color. So the colors are of course black, gray, there's also white, khaki, uh, mushroom topes and beiges. If you want to be on the warmer side, try the terracotta tan. With the row, the shoes are very mannish, androgynous, and very easy, like, like a babouche mule or a slip-on mule, also loafers, or just a simple black leather boot. I have a few pieces here that has that row feel. So one of them is this coat from Andy Middlemeister. It's just a simple um, kimono coat that you can style like this with the buttons or you can wear them open. One piece of clothing that you really need to have is a boxy oversized blazer. Like this one, this is from Celine. It's just a charcoal gray, very easy to match and easy to wear. I sando ka lang sa loob or tank top and then just jeans and yeah you're good to go it's all about the fabric that you are wearing so pag maganda yung fabric na suot nyo everything follows another favorite of mine that i want to share with you guys is this um skirt pants from dion lee so he's an australian designer a pants made from wool and then in the front it's got a skirt apron vibe and on the back in yung pants so parang androgynous siya and it has that Japanese style, na parang drop crotch. So I also have this khaki, um, olive beige kind of coat that I got in Japan. And the good thing is it's reversible. And up to now, so 
Then I believe it was 2017 when we went there. It still looks new. So for the first look, I'm wearing a Limousieu asymmetrical jacket. It's a bit longer than the normal length. And I'm wearing my combat boots in leather with a really nice structured pants. A bit slouchy, straight fit, and they're all in black. And I'm also wearing a square shades or sunnies from Burberry. So I also switched up my outfit. I was wearing a neoprene structured top with uh, contrast stitching. And as you can see, it's very minimal, very understated. When you're wearing all black, it's always easy to mix and match because you don't have to consider what colors are gonna clash. That's why I like black so much. And this is my actual favorite outfit from the series. This is a Yoji Yamamoto long line wool vest. It's also a kimono structure, which is very reminiscent of the row pieces. So if you notice, the row always do a lot of kimono cuts, classic staple silhouettes. And I think this piece is a good option. I'm also wearing a simple black tote bag from Jack Moo. So for the pants, I'm wearing my slouchy Alexander Wang and I'm wearing just a slip-on leather flats. So just to keep it casual, but still a mix of dressy and understated elegance. So my next outfit is a Rick Owens wrap tunic, a satin comme de garçon pants. This is actually from Lorenz, a square toe slip on sandals, very the row, very Mary Kate. Of course, I have an oversized bag with me and a cup of coffee. So let's take a break from the old black outfits. And this is what I came up with. I'm wearing this long tunic ecru off-white shirt from Kos. So Kos is a really good brand if you're looking for affordable options and also pair them with my reversible jacket. It's actually long line and I got it from Tokyo when we went to Shibuya. It's very transitional, they're very lightweight and as you can see it's springtime here in Australia but I'm still wearing them and since the row is all about minimalism and subtle elegance and luxury, I'm wearing this nice leather Napa bag. It's actually very pebbled and just simple and very relaxed. My next outfit, this jacket, is from my previous label, Night Sheep. I made the pattern and it's just raw, it doesn't have any buttons or stitching or even pockets, very minimal. It's reductionism at its finest, very similar to what the row is all about. So the main ethos of the row is subtle luxury and relaxed considered fabrics. And here, the neoprene for me is a good option if you want the clothes to maintain its shape and condition after a long while. I'm wearing a really nice grandpa pants. This time, I wore them with a chunky derby. And as you can see, I'm wearing a nice Nina Ricci simple bag. So for the last outfit, I'm wearing simple flats in leather. My usual uniform actually. So the long coat is from Andy Mildemister. It has a kimono, again, it has a kimono structured silhouette. It's made from virgin wool, very nice on the skin. It gives you the right amount of form. I also pair them with my Nina Ricci bag and my Dion Lee skirt pants. Also, don't forget about the shades and the coffee. If you love the row, show me how you style them on Instagram and tag me 
at incarcerating or you can always comment down below thank you again for watching guys i really appreciate your time and if you find this video helpful please like subscribe and share this video to your friends and family comment down below on what outfit you like the best sa mga pinakita ko see you again guys on the next video and catch you later bye